The gist of it is that Bay Fortis or near seven map is that good. But let's talk a little bit more about this. Today, we're going to be exploring Bay Fortis or near seven map a groundbreaking new antibody developed to combat respiratory syncytial virus infections in those high-risk infants. We'll discuss its mechanism of action and how it could revolutionize the way we protect the most vulnerable patients. Let's go ahead and dive in. So Bayfortis is a novel monoclonal antibody designed to target and neutralize RSV. Similar to Synergis, it binds to that RSV F protein preventing the virus from entering and infecting human cells. However, Bayfortis has been engineered to offer an enhanced potency and a longer half-life, which means it lasts longer in the body, potentially providing better protection against RSV infections. The mechanism of action for Bayfortis involves, as I mentioned, binding to that RSV F protein, which is crucial for the virus ability to infect human cells. By attaching to the F protein, Bay Fortis blocks the virus from fusing with the cell membrane. Without a membrane, it can't live, effectively stopping the infectious process. Now, this innovative approach offers a new line of defense against RSV, particularly, as I mentioned, from those high-risk infants. As I already talked about this, Bay Fortis is intended for those high-risk infants, such as those born prematurely, with chronic lung disease, or with congenital heart disease. The CDC recommends that nirosevimab be administered to the following babies. It can be given to newborns or infants who are eight months or less, who are entering or are currently in their first RSV season, usually happening sometime between fall and the spring. The second group is for infants who are between eight months and 19 months, who are considered to be at higher risk for severe RSV and are entering their second RSV season. Infants at risk are more susceptible to severe RSV infections, which can lead, as I mentioned before, to emergency room, hospitalizations, respiratory failure, and even death. Before this aims to provide extra layer of protection for these vulnerable infants during the RSV season. Before this is given as an injection, usually in the thigh. A 50 milligram dose, which is usually about 0.5 milliliters, is administered in the infants who are less than five kilos, while 100 milligrams is given for infants who are five kilos or more. This is only needed once per season. For the shot, the study found that there were less than one out of 100 babies that developed a rash that was very localized and a localized reaction at the injection site in less than one out of 200 babies. So in conclusion, before this represents a promising new development in the fight against RSV infections in high-risk infants. Its mechanism of action and the potential advantages over synergies could revolutionize the way we protect our most vulnerable patients. Now, if you want to know more about RSV and synergies, which is another medication we use, you can go ahead and click on the videos that are popping up right next to me as of right now. Okay, as always, this is Dr. Ford. I'm the Nikki Doc. If you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate you. I'm signing out and I'll see you with the next video.